Hey guys, today I'm doing a review on the debut video capture software. This software allows you to record your screen or take photos of your screen in great quality. So I decided to do a review on this because I've been using this for a couple days now and I thought it's just absolutely great. So I want to share um, what it can do. So it can record right here if you if you download this and you press this little arrow uh, you can sit you can record your screen in many different formats you can do it in MOV WMV um, iTunes well same as that can be like anything too but it can also be in the same format as Xbox 360 so you can put on your Xbox 360 if you put your video on a USB stick same thing with a PS3, so that is very cool. The encoder options right here can allow you to change the size of your video, so you can change it to whatever size you want, which is very cool. It's not preset uh, numbers. You can actually do it manually, so that is very cool. And the edit output is pretty much allowing you to change the way that it is saved. Um, I don't think it's I don't think it's that much different than the encoder options. And right here looks a little camera that is the button for taking a photo instead of movie. So that's not really um, mu not much different. Just click that and takes takes a photo. It's pretty much the same thing as recording it, but a still. R right here, this red button that looks like the Japanese flag. It actually is the Japanese flag. No, I'm just kidding. It is the record button. Um, right here is the pause button if you want to come back to your video without without saving it on a different file which is kinda cool it's the stop button right here if I want to stop recording but I don't want to or you can just press control F10 which is also a very cool function because you don't have to actually open the program to stop it you can just press those two buttons to get at the same time and stop the video so that's very cool alright right here this little A stands for Arial and that means text a font you can change the fonts to uh, four different kinds of fonts, regular, italic, bold, and bold italic, which is very cool. Um, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, those are the font styles. Uh, the fonts, you can do tons of different fonts. And the size, you can also do that. So that's pretty much for allowing... Uh, you can put text on your screen in case you want to do that some way. Um, you can change right here from centered, left, or right, which is very cool. Uh, the, the top of the screen, the bottom of the, uh, the middle of the screen, or the bottom of the screen... I usually don't do any of that. Right here, this little uh, rainbow colored, it's the color settings. You can change the brightness from negative 255 to positive 255. The contrast from negative 100 to 100. The gamma to 0.10 and 5.0. And apply filter, black and white. You can change the color to black and white, negative, or sepia. Or just press default and have it just like it wants it to. All right, now right here are things that you have to do before you start. This pretty much is just full screen if you want to record everything on your screen. Right here, that looks like uh, dashed lines in a rectangle. That is for only recording a certain part of the screen. Say you don't want people to see your name on a program and you just want to record around it. You can just press this little button here and just record in that little section. So that's a pretty cool option. I like that. And right here is just drawing. So if you want to add like a smiley face if you if you want to, that's what that's for. All right, right here the device is recording it from a web device, a integrated camera. Same thing with network except for network, it's recording from a a camera that is plugged in. So if you do not have a plugged in camera but you have an integrated camera, if you press network, it will be the exact same as the device. So it's not that big of a difference between device and network. Device is just integrated, network is connected. Pretty cool. Screen right here, recording my screen. That's what I'm doing right now. You may think I'm not pressing anything, but this is right here, it's recording. Schedule, pretty cool thing right here. You can actually tell when you want it to record without actually telling it to record. It will do it manually. Just say, I want it to record, like just change the time to when you want it to record, and it will record it. Right here, recordings. That will be a list of all the recordings that you have done on the program. You can choose from them, save it to your desktop, save it to wherever you want, and put it onto a video. I mean, sorry, it's already on a video. Save it to YouTube or upload it somewhere, put it on Facebook, anything. Options right here. Uh, you can't do that while recording, but the options is pretty much allowing you to 
pretty much change the way you're recording it uh, to your personal settings. So it's not really that big of a difference between encoder options, out, edit, output, and options. Buy online is pretty much if you want to buy the full version. I don't have the full version like, like, like I said but before. But if you want the full version, just press buy online. It's on sale right now for, I think, 20 or $30. It's originally 50 I don't think I'll be buying that anytime soon. And if I do, it won't be uh, because I want it on this computer. It'll be because I want it on multiple computers. And sweet right here. Oh, good. I can do it while recording. It is pretty much allowing you to add add on content as people that like play Call of Duty or uh, add on maps. This is pretty much add on software. You can add different editors, uh, different converters, different CD rippers, and dictation. Same thing with that. Dictation software, fast typing, expander, text counter, all these different, all these different uh, add-ons, and recording system, all these things. There, every one I've tried is free. Uh, try it now. So these are the featured ones. The, that means that if you want those to actually be on it for your entire time using the software you will need to pay but there is a free version which is pretty cool if you want to try it out business um, all these are free but the featured version costs like every other section video just more converters everything I have this one right here this is the one I have debut video camera software that's what I'm using right now I will put a link in the description by the way if you want to download that so please do I'm not getting paid to endorse this product I just want you to know that there is a software out there that is non-virus because I have scanned it multiple times non-virus and it works really well a lot of different features which is pretty cool graphics right here not to move out to the center graphics you can do an image converter which is pretty cool actually I might get that eventually photo stage slideshow software like kinda like iPhoto on Macs but I'm on a PC right now and other it's uh, tutorials lightning PDF printer so all these different CD labeling, all these different little features that do not count in that do not include audio dictation, telephony, telephony, telephony. Sorry, business video and graphics. So that's pretty cool. A lot of different uh, features and the help button if you want help. What the hell is going on? Um, so that will just open up a video and let's see file capture a snapshot. All these different features. Register software. I won't register unless I have to, but I don't think you do. Uh, edit right here. Let's see. Adjust watermark video effects, color video effects, caption video effects. That's pretty cool. Select a desktop rectangle for capture. That's pretty much the same thing as crop, except for it gives you a rectangle and then you move it to where you want. So that's not that. It'll just give you a rectangle and then you choose where you want. Capture. Uh, manage your save selections, which is pretty much the same thing as recordings right here. Uh, capture the whole desktop, which I'm doing right now, and display the actual size, which I don't think is actually different, except for display the actual size is probably not recording. I don't know. I don't think that makes sense. Uh, debut video software homepage. That's just for going to links on the actual website of Debut. This software is called Debut Professional, Debut Professional Capture, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, that that's actually the entire program. I want to thank you guys for watching my video. Remember, you can press Control F10 and stop it. Um, if you want to download this program, as I said before, you can look in the description. The link will be there to download it. It is a great, great capture software if you want to record your uh, screen in pretty good quality. It definitely looks good in my opinion. Please tell me if you do like the, uh, the, the quality. Please subscribe for more tips, tricks, and hacks. Uh, there are hacks, I think. Um, and I do also unboxings, so enough of that. Please subscribe, like, comment, favorite, all those things. Uh, and thanks, guys, for watching. All right, see ya. Bye.